वेलकम फ्रेंड्स लेट अस स्टडी द हीट एंजिन ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल काइंडली लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल द टॉपिक्स इंक्लूडेड इन टुडेज लेक्चर आर प्राइम मूवर्स थर्मल प्राइम मूवर्स हीट एंजिन्स एंड एलिमेंट्स ऑफ हीट एंजिन्स प्राइम मूवर Prime mover is a device which converts the natural source of energy into mechanical energy or useful work. Let us study it uh, graphically. Let us consider this is a prime mover. So, what will be the input to the prime mover? Yes, it will be the natural source of energy. And what kind of nat natural source of energies are there? Maybe chemical energy of fuel. potential energy of river water or nuclear energy so all this kind of natural source of energy is given as the input to the prime mover and the prime mover converts this natural source of energy into useful work or a mechanical energy there are two types of prime mover thermal prime mover and non thermal prime mover so in uh, in thermal prime mover natural source of energy first is converted into thermal energy that is a heat and then after it is converted into mechanical energy or useful energy while in non thermal prime mover natural source of energy is converted into non thermal energy first and then it is converted into mechanical energy or a useful work so Uh, if uh, in a general if it is said once if natural source of energy is converted into heat energy and then if we get the mechanical energy it is known as the thermal prime mover and if the natural source of energy is converted into non thermal and then mechanical it is known as the non thermal prime mover steam turbine power plant or thermal power plant is the example of thermal prime mover and hydroelectric power plant is the example of non thermal prime mover heat engine so heat engine is a device which work on fundamental of thermal prime mover so heat engine is nothing but a device which works on the fundamental of thermal prime mover means here the natural source of energy is converted into heat energy and then heat energy is converted into mechanical energy now let us uh, elaborate the definition of heat engine heat engine is a device which operates in a cycle so heat engine is operating in a cycle and converts the heat energy continuously into work energy that is mechanical energy so heat engine is a device which operates in a cycle so it operates in a cyclic form and it converts continuously heat energy into work energy now let us see uh, or understand the heat engine graphically so this is a heat engine which works on a cycle it takes the heat from the natural source of energy uh, and then it converts it into the work done so that is nothing but the heat engine now what are the different elements of heat engine so mainly there are three elements of heat engine thermal energy reservoirs adiabatic wall and working substance or working medium or working fluid there are two types of thermal energy reservoirs thermal energy source which is also known as the heat source and another one is thermal energy sink which is also known as the heat sink so these are the elements of heat engine now let us study about the elements of heat engine one by one thermal energy reservoirs thermal energy reservoir is a theoretical or imaginary body with a relatively large thermal energy capacity so it is nothing but a theoretical or imaginary body and it has a relatively large or you can say very very large thermal capacity it can supply or absorb finite amount of heat without undergoing any change in temperature it means thermal energy reservoir 
can supply any amount of heat without changing its temperature or it can absorb any amount of energy or heat without changing its temperature. Now there are two types of thermal energy reservoirs based on the supply of heat and based on the absorb of heat. Now what are that? Thermal energy source that is heat source and another one is thermal energy sink that is heat sink. Thermal energy source or a heat source. Thermal energy reservoir which is at very very high temperature is known as the heat source. So a reservoir which is at very very high temperature is known as the heat source or it is also known as the thermal energy source. Right? And this uh, thermal energy source can supply any amount of heat without changing its temperature. It means its temperature remains constant and its temperature is denoted by the symbol T1 or TH. So different book uses the different symbol. Some book uses T1 or some book uses the TH. Thermal energy sink or a heat sink. The thermal energy reservoir which is at low temperature is known as the heat sink. So the reservoir which is at very very low temperature is known as the heat sink and it can absorb, it can uh, you can say absorb any amount of it and its temperature does not change. It is always at constant temperature and the temperature is denoted by the symbol T2 or TL. Adiabatic wall, the body which does not allow heat to pass, that is known as the adiabatic wall. So the body from which heat transfer cannot take place is known as the adiabatic wall. Working substance or working medium or working fluid. Heat engine is a device which operates in a cycle and converts the heat energy into mechanical energy or a work energy. Heat engines usually involve or it requires a fluid to and from which heat is transferred while undergoing cycle. So whenever heat engine is working on a cycle, it requires a fluid. Right? And why we require, why that heat engine required a fluid? Because some heat can be given to the fluid or some heat can be rejected from the fluid. Right? And this fluid is known as the working substance or working medium or working fluid. So it is a substance or a medium filled inside the heat engine. It is required to transfer the heat. Air, water, vapor, refrigerant are the examples of the working medium or working substance or working fluid. For any questions, uh, kindly write your comments in the comment box. Also, like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.